Next, we can share via PhotoStream, which with the release of Aperture 3.4 and iOS 6 in September of 2012, got a lot more useful for sharing images. Apple calls it Shared PhotoStream, which lets you upload a set of images to their own photo stream and then invite certain people to view that photo stream. You're also provided a public web link on iCloud.com that displays the uploaded fo photos very nicely on a gallery page. I have one photo stream here called My Photo Stream and another in the Family and Friends section that I shared with myself back in the Import section. So let's turn my Best of 2011 album into a shared photo stream. I'll select all the images and go to Shared and select Photo Stream. Here I can either add these images to the general My Photo Stream or create a new photo stream which I can name here. In the Shared With field, I can add email addresses of those I want to share this with. I'll add the email address for my main iCloud account. So when I send this, I'll be alerted on my Mac, iPad, and iPhone. I'll then be able to view, like, and comment on these shared photos. I can also check the public website box, which will provide me with a web link to the images once they're uploaded. So I'll click OK and the Best of 2011 album is uploaded to PhotoStream and displayed in the PhotoStream section of Aperture. Now for my iPad, I'm going to like a couple of these and add a comment or two. I'll be alerted that these likes and comments were added. I'll also be able to view and add to the comments right from Aperture. Right click on this photo stream and I can visit the gallery page created on iCloud.com for it. It's a single page with all the images laid out automatically. Click on an image though and I can view them one at a time. Click the full screen button here for a great way to view the photo stream. I think these new iCloud web galleries are really nice. They let you view the photos at great quality and in full screen, which many online galleries don't offer. And with the public link you can let anyone view them from any device, not just Mac or iOS users.